Hey guys, it's Greg. How's it going today? I hope you're doing well. This is very exciting because Meta just released two amazing courses on Coursera that you might want to check out. We have the Meta Front End Developer Professional Certificate and the alternative, you might have guessed it, the Meta Back End Developer Professional Certificate. So this is very exciting because, well, if you haven't heard of Meta, Facebook, Oculus, Instagram, WhatsApp, probably more, I can't think of it. Having their name on these certificates makes a lot of sense and adds a ton of credibility. They hire a lot of software engineers, so many that they literally are slowing down their hiring this year to 7,000 new software engineers, which is just insane. So having their name on backend and frontend development makes a lot of sense. Just as a quick summary and explanation, if you don't know what those things are, front end itself is basically everything you see on this website. I am at a, a specific Coursera link right now. If I were to hover over this button, you can see all of this stuff pops up. That is built in JavaScript, maybe one of their frameworks like React. React is the one that they teach you in Meta because, well, Meta is actually, or Facebook at the time, is the company that basically made React and made it so popular. So that's uh, that's the front end is for all of this design and kind of uh, operation of this website in the ways in which you actually see it happening as a user. And the back end as uh, this other course, this is basically all that stuff that you don't see. So when I go, you know, see I'm signed here as Greg Hogg, um, that visually here, that is just a name, but that's a lot of coding and a lot of uh, processing on the back end to actually have all of that authentication uh, and database updates being done. So I'm not going to go super, super in depth into each of these or into both of these. Basically, the back end, you know, you're going to learn what's actually crazy is Python. They made the choice of Python uh, as opposed to what's basically something called JavaScript. Um, man, I'm forgetting the name of it. Node.js uh, is a very common back end in, written in JavaScript so that you can use um, JavaScript to write the backend code, uh, but also we have Python and they use Django, which is a popular Python framework for doing that. Uh, so it's really cool that they did Python because if you were to do both of these, uh, you'd really have the best of both worlds. So instead of Node.js, you would use Python, SQL, Git, all of this popular stuff, but you would also learn JavaScript if you did the front end developer because, well, front end with JavaScript is pretty much a requirement. HTML, CSS, automating that stuff with JavaScript and JavaScript's React library is, uh, you know, super, super popular. I think the other popular library is uh, Angular. I think Vue or Vue, I forget how it's said, is also relatively popular, and there's a bunch of them. Uh, but this, uh, this is pretty much what makes sense, uh, especially from a meta point of view. This makes a lot of sense. Okay, so I'm not going to go so into the courses. I just wanted to let you know that they're here, that they're really, they're going to be great. Um, you know, I'm not familiar with the material. I'm probably not going to take the material, but adding these certificates to your portfolio, if you are trying to prove yourself as a front end developer or a back end developer, or at least taking some of the courses for free and trying to learn that material would be very beneficial for many of you, whether you're subscribed to me and you're familiar with the data science content and trying to learn that, uh, or you're simply, uh, you know, trying to become a front end back end developer. And uh, this may be the first time you're hearing from me. Either way, I think these are going to be great. Uh, I, of course, have links in the description if you want to take a look at those. Uh, but they are, you can just kind of search for front end or back end right here. And yeah, take a look. Um, I'll see you next time, guys. I hope you have a great day. And uh, yeah, have a great time.